Hi everyone, it's Rita from Miss Rita to the Rescue. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday morning. It's St. Patrick's Day and I already have my corned beef and cabbage meal on the slow cooker and it's time for some crafting, don't you think? So today, as I mentioned and promised yesterday, we are going to be making this gorgeous oversized rose bloom and this one here was done in in what's called pearl paper. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but this is a product that um, Cricut has uh, launched, I think a couple years ago now. Um, it's a great product because it has got a real pearl essence to it. However, if you don't have a pearl paper handy to you, we can always use that um, hot buy that we've used in the past. This was something I got from Michaels. So I want you to stay tuned. This one's a little more detailed. So um, stick with me and I'm gonna show you how to accomplish this. Okay, so um, this project to make these oversized uh, rose blossoms, it comes in three different stages. That's the way that I figured it out. Clearly, you do need to cut them out first. And uh, what you get is you get three size petals. You have this very large petal. And then you have this sort of medium sized petal. And then the smaller petals. Um, and personally, you could do this a couple of ways. But the way that works for me is to um, use this boning tool and um, work the petals on all of these petals. You see, see what I'm doing? I'm curling the petal a little bit. It's going to assemble that much easier if you do it this way at the beginning. So you need to go through all of these petals, which is what I've done. Again, there are a lot of petals here, so you know, don't get overwhelmed. But let's see, there's, I think there's seven of the oversized petals. There's three of the medium sized petals, and then there are five of the uh, smaller petals. So the first step that you're going to take is you're going to condition the paper um, like that using, you can use uh, any kind of a, of a bone folder boner, whatever you want to call it. You can even use this, which is a Cricut tool for, as a scraper, that you can use the scraper just to get that sort of edge to it. Okay, that's step one. So step two is you need to use your glue gun for this, but basically now that we've um, worked all of these petals, we are going to attach the end pieces here um, with glue and I'm going to try to get a little closer so you can see how I did it and each petal gets glued into like a cup shape this does require a little bit of patience so do stick with it because you already have curled this edge you know so what you're going to do is you're going to take both of these um, bottom edge pieces and you're going to sort of cross the legs. That's a good way to remember it. So you're gonna cross the legs of your um, petal and while you have it held there, you are then going to come at it with a little bit of glue. I'm not sure if you can see that, okay. So a little bit of glue, you don't need a whole lot. Go easy because you know it is hot. And then you're going to sort of cross the legs. You don't want to cross them all the way because you, you do need for the, these two pieces to sort of become one. And yet still this petal is, is turned out. That's an important part, okay? So you're gonna go through, after you've cut them out, you're gonna go through and you're going to condition each leaf. Remember that part. And then the next part is you're gonna go through and glue all of your leaves like this okay then when you're ready um 
you're going to come back here with, um, there are three other pieces besides the petals. There's this one here, which is, is basically, this is the, the um, oh, you know, the part where the bud um, is coming off. I don't know what it's called. Um, you guys help me out here, but this is basically the part where the bud um, is formed and then opens up, and it becomes basically a base for our for our um, flower. But we're gonna put that aside for a second. And we're gonna talk about these two pieces. These are the other two pieces beside the petal and that base. We've got a smaller and a larger one. You notice that um, I have gone ahead and, and I've conditioned the edges of this. But I wanna get up close. I don't know if you can see this, but there are like slits that are cut into, like diagonally cut into um, this, this uh this particular piece the second piece doesn't have those slits okay let's put that the smaller second piece aside and let's just talk about this piece this piece with the slits what we're going to do is take all of our petals working with the smallest ones and we are going to start pushing each petal into the slits. Now we're gonna start with the smallest one. We're gonna work our way through. There, again, there are, I think, like five of the smaller ones. Now this is why I mentioned that the glue needs, you need to glue those little legs sort of close because those slits are, are only so big, you know? And um, yes, I do work this uh, as a one whole piece before I close it up. But just so you can see as, as we've gone further along, here is the piece. And I'm gonna show you the back, the in, underside, the inside, where these are all my little legs for my for my flowers, right? Uh, isn't that really cute? And you can, you know, you have to do sort of work it and pull it, and I think that the glue makes it sort of make those pieces stay in there better. But if you wanted to, you could come back and hit these with a little bit of glue just to hold them down. I, I haven't done that, but I could see the appeal to that. Um, if you want to keep, you know, if, if somebody's going to be sort of playing with the, with the flower a little bit more than perhaps as a decoration. So then once you have all of your leaves of your petals um, attached here. What you're going to do is you see this tab and I'm going to sort of start curling this in. Now we'll take a little bit of fiddling and you may have to re-insert um, some of those leaves. That's okay. Be patient. Be patient with yourself and you're going to sort of turn it, and I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but then you are. I'm going to take this off so you can see it on camera. Um, I'll take this one off too. If you can see it on camera, we'll put it back. Okay, so then you're going to take it, and here's a tab. You're going to put our tab into that uh, horizontal dash. Right, that's what I'm doing here. Please be patient with yourself. Be patient with me as I do this because it's a little bit hairy. And there, there it is. Of course, of course, when you're doing that on camera, it doesn't come out. It doesn't come out right. But so then once you do that, you're going to go back and, you know, you can replace these petals, obviously. You can adjust them as much as you want. And I'm going to, you know, go back and put those in there. And whew, being patient with myself and patient with the process. And uh, clearly, don't. I'm not, I've not got this all done up correctly, but I want to, for the sake of time, I want to show you what you end up with. You end up with this, 
Now it's, it's a bit incomplete, which is where that um, other, that other piece that I showed you comes in and that goes in the middle here like that. <laughs> Boy, I'm really failing at this and I apologize. But um, you end up basically, and again, you have to be patient with yourself. You end up basically having a complete bloom like, uh, let's see if I get this, like this, which I then attach. I attached this base. Remember we talked about this base which so that you know this is how I put it together. Let's see, is it in there? You know, I glued the circle part and then the tab. And so basically the whole flower kind of rests in, once you get it all together, it's going to rest in the base. Again, <laughs> I did, I kind of failed miserably and I apologize um, here, but I just wanted you to see that it doesn't, it really, this is not a brain surgery kind of a project, but it does require an intense amount of patience and experience. You know, you're going to do this, um, hopefully you're going to do this more than once, maybe not. As you can see for with me, I, I cut out several of them. Um, and I'm kind of working all, all the different, all the different um, steps at once so maybe I kind of confused myself but that's basically it's basically the steps that you're going to take and when you finish you end up with this glorious thing okay so stick with it okay persevere and you will be able to get this done And that, my friends, is how you make these oversized roses. Aren't they beautiful? And they are doable. You have to stick with it a little bit longer. You need to be patient with yourself, but you can accomplish this. And wouldn't they look beautiful in um, along a doorway or perhaps as a photo backdrop for... Um, for a, a bridal shower or a any kind of event, a little girl's a birthday or something along those lines. Anyway, um, I hope you do try this. Remember that the file that I give you is always free and it's available in Cricut Design Space Community and you'll see it in the detail page of this video. Um, also, you can check my blog, MissRitaToTheRescue.com and um, there will also be uh, the this video as well as more details and links to the project. Thank you so much for coming today. Please, if you could, I would love it if you could subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have, please share because um, I am looking to break through my 100. I already have over 100 subscribers. So thank you so, so very much, everyone. I do, do so appreciate it. But now we're on to bigger and better things. And I guess our, I guess our next goal is 200 subscribers. So let's make that happen. Um, and I can only do that with, with your help. So please, subscribe, share, like the video, do all that wonderful stuff, and we'll see you next time. Hope you make it a great day.